Hello again, Dinky Danny here. This is just going to be a quick update video. I wanted to put it up, tell you some of the stuff that happened over the weekend. And also, I'm about to hit 1,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited for that. I already kind of have some things lined up for a 1,000 subscriber special. But if there's anything in particular you guys want to see, leave a comment down below and let me know. The first thing I'd like to talk to talk about in this video is something that I got in the mail. I got a Turbo Graphics, and it came with the cables and one controller and four games. And about two to three months ago, I put up a video saying I got a complete boxed Turbo Graphics, and I've had it all this time, and I've never had any games to play on it. So I haven't really touched the system at all. I put in a hockey game just in to check to see if the system worked. That's all I had to play, and. I've really been looking forward to playing the system and just can't find any games around my town. I've looked and I've seen like Keith Courage for $15 and stuff, but um, most of the games I, I really can't find at all. And I, and I wasn't really looking to go on eBay, but I finally just caved and I bought some games on there. And what I ended up getting was this console and also four games. And the first game that I got, I'm actually playing it right now, I made it through the first two worlds, is Bonk's Adventure. This is the main one that I've been wanting to play, because everybody always recommends it. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Instead of, instead of jumping on enemies' heads, you have to jump up in the air, and then you slam down on them with your forehead. It's really funny. And uh, it's, it's just a really cool game. I've, I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. The next game that came with this is Bonk's Revenge. And I'll, I'll play that one after I beat the first one, of course. And then Time Cruise. And the fourth one is Newtopia. And the other ones I didn't even look up, so I don't know what those two were even about. I mainly just wanted Bonk's Adventure and Bonk's Revenge. And the reason that I got this auction is because normally I'm looking and they're kind of expensive. And I ended up getting this console and all those games for a decent price. But the reason I wanted to show you guys this before my Games I Bought Recently video for March is I'm not planning on keeping this system. I already have a complete one in the box and I don't see any reason to keep this second one and I know a lot of people are looking for turbo graphics so if you have things that you want to trade for this let me know otherwise I'm probably just gonna put it back on eBay and try and make some of the money that I spent back but I wanted to let you know check with you guys see if there's someone out there that would really enjoy this because I like doing that a lot more than putting things on eBay. Um, the second thing that I got in the mail this weekend was recommended by my friend Craig here on YouTube and his channel is called TV and Lust. I really like all of his videos, he's real informative and he does some great reviews, he's just a really nice guy. And what he recommended is this Nintendo DS Play Stand. He recommended it, he got it, and he was going to use it for reviews. And recently I've just started doing Nintendo DS reviews and if anyone's tried to do it, it's, it's really a pain. Because you have to have you have to keep the screen completely still, and you have to record it with your camera. You know, there's no way to capture the footage, so it's kind of a pain having to make sure that it stays still and things like that. So whenever I saw that he did a review of this, I definitely bought it, and it was only fifteen dollars on Amazon. So if anyone's interested in this, definitely look up Nintendo DS Play Stand on Amazon. It's real cheap, and that's what it looks like. You can you can twist it around and spin the angles and stuff like that so I'm hoping it's gonna help a lot with my reviews so those are two things that I wanted to show you before um, instead of waiting a whole month the next things I'd like to go over are some games that I played over this weekend I went up to college to pick up my cousin and it's his spring break so we've been planning to play games this weekend and I went to pick him up on Thursday up there drove up stayed over the night and we bought Mega Man 10 for the Nintendo Wii and I, I love it I, I had so much fun with it. We beat the game in about six hours or so, and it has all the qualities from the old Nintendo games. So I, I love that they're bringing out those old games, and I'm, I'm assuming that Mega Man 9 did really well, so they brought out this one. Um, one thing about it, they put in the easy mode, which doesn't really bother me at all. I didn't even touch it. I didn't even click on it to see what it is, but apparently it looks like they put platforms over the spikes and pits and stuff to, to make it easier because apparently a lot of people had trouble with the difficulty and even in the regular game I thought it was a little bit easier than Mega Man 9 and definitely easier than the originals but it wasn't enough to bother me at all it still had the old Mega Man challenge and especially Wily stage that was pretty tough but a lot of the regular stages I just blew through them so overall it's a great game I hope they keep keep bringing out more and more of them 
and the music was pretty good. I really like that. I still like Mega Man 1 and 2's music better, but you know, I'll take what I can get on these new ones. And the next thing, um, we, we decided to rent a game and we chose Heavy Rain. And we've been heard, hearing some good reviews about it, heard it was a pretty good game. So we rented it and I loved it. I thought it was so good. It's one of the best games that I've seen in a while. And I was on the edge of my seat. There are so many scenes in the game. And I was really thinking, you know, you don't completely control your character. So I didn't think that it was going to be as much fun and as interactive as it is. But if you haven't played it and you have a PlayStation 3, definitely go out and get it. You will not be disappointed. The only problem is I was playing for about five to six hours and it just froze up on me. What would happen is the screen would keep moving and the audio would just completely cut out and then after about 30 seconds, the, the whole system would freeze. And I just had to restart my PlayStation 3 and turn it back on. And I figured, you know, it would work again and it just would not pass those points. So I couldn't complete the game. I only played through maybe half of it, maybe a little bit more. I don't know how long it is completely. But it, it was it was really horrible. It's like watching a great movie and then you just cut off in the middle and you you know you're expecting you know what's next. So if anybody knows how I can fix that on my PlayStation 3, I looked it up online and apparently it corrupts some files. So I had I tried putting in other PS3 games and it still froze. It wouldn't even load my regular PS3 games. So I had to back it up and completely reformat it. And it's back to normal, all my other games are working, but I'm not going to try Heavy Rain again yet. So if anyone knows how to either fix that or what the deal with that is, you know, let me know. Um, I also tried uninstalling it, reinstalling it, not connected to the internet in case it was that patch that came through. But nothing worked. So I'm really dying to finish the game, I'd really like to see, you know, what, what the rest of the choices are and things. But if you haven't played the game, definitely check it out. And I haven't heard of too many people having the same problem as me. But um, I just wanted to put up a video, tell you guys what I got in the mail, see if anyone wanted that Turbo Graphics, and tell you what I was playing. Um, since we got held up on Heavy Rain, we decided to play a different game instead, and that's Batman Arkham Asylum. I've had this game for a while, and I just never got around to playing it. And we completed the whole game, and it was a lot of fun. It was one of the better superhero games I've played in a long time. So it, it lived up to the hype. Everyone was telling me that it was really good, and it, it really was. I really liked the character of the Joker. Um, Mark Hamill doing the voice was just incredible. And the, the controls were way better than I was planning. So definitely play Batman, Arkham Asylum if you haven't, and also Heavy Rain. And uh, those are the things that I just wanted to share with you. Um, leave comments about what you'd like to see as a 1,000 subscriber special. And also if you know what was going on with Heavy Rain in my PlayStation 3, let me know on that too. So, alright, well, thanks for watching, and I'm Dinky Dana.